G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're going to be cooking bacon and eggs on the solo stove light wood burner. So whilst I'm getting it going, I'm going to boil up some water to make myself a coffee and get it all ready and then I'm going to put the bacon and eggs on. So this next section, until it's ready for the bacon and eggs, I'll speed up. So you don't have to do sit around and wait for the fire to get going. The pot I'm using to heat up the water is the solar stove 900 ml pot, which is the 30 fluid ounces. And I've got just about 450 ml of water in now, which is what's that? It's about 15 ounces, fluid ounces, or just under. I'm just going to sit here and feed this fire. The coffees I'm trying out at the moment are the Robert Tim's Italian Espresso style and this is a dark roasted blend with a rich strong continental style aroma and flavour. Extra dark roasted blend coffee bag and individual serve. So I'll give them a, a go over the next few weeks and the next time I go out which will hopefully be the end of the next week I'll be going out for five days bushwalking and I'll do a review at the end and let you know how much I enjoyed them. You can see the stove now, even though the water's nearly boiling, it's just kicked in with the gasification. So it's a nice little gasifier stove. And now it's going properly, there's very little smoke, if any at all, most of the time. using a Sea to Summit collapsible mug today. And a frying pan I'm going to be using today is the Tokes Titanium 115mm which is the smallest one. I've put butter in it this time. The last time I used it I forgot to put butter in and the bacon did, did stick. Also the butter gives it a nice flavour too. Actually we're good serving there, a couple of large rashers of bacon and I've chopped them up ready spread that all out and on it goes and straight away we've got the sizzle happening now I'm using this sign pan on here because it's one I've used on all my videos of all the different types of uh, stoves to be used, whether it's uh, other liquid fuel stoves or gas stoves or wood burning stoves. I've always used this frying pan. One is small and it fits perfect in my pack. 
but also gives a universal idea of how these all perform if you want to go back and look through any of my older videos of cooking bacon and eggs on some of the hiking stoves I've done with views of. on this side, easier for me. I'm actually doing this video from home again today in the backyard and the reason I've done the last few videos at home is my wife had a fall down a couple of flights of stairs when she was away. So I've been staying close to home so what I can to help her because she broke her shoulder bones, she broke some ribs, black and blue head to toe and the hospital that she was rushed to was surprised that she survived it, so I'm thankful that she did. So the least I can do with all that she does for me is be here for her. It doesn't take much to get the flames going again in this one. It's a really good little stove. I do like it. And use a lot less fuel in this one. A lot less wood to keep it going. It's of all the water for my coffee. I can only talk about three and a half, four minutes. And I'm cooking this bacon in real time so you can see how long it actually takes. So I'm not going to be speeding through and cutting bits out. And there's only a month or two left for us here in Australia, and WA anyway, at least in Western Australia, that we're allowed to use these types of stoves, the wood burners. So when the temperature gets really hot here, they put fire bands on to help reduce the risk of brush fires. Just high away from it in a moment until that lowers back down, but still keeping it by the heat. It has started to stick on that far edge. That's okay. Actual bacon's actually cooked now, but I'll give it a bit longer. Try and burn it up a bit, but if it starts to stick too much, I'll leave it as it is and I'll just throw my egg in, scramble the egg up, and it should be a nice breakfast. At the moment, the temperature here centigrade. It's around a 25 and the forecast 30 today. So, uh, it's time to put the egg in now and grab that. In with the egg and I'll just scramble it up. We've got 
ったらいいですね。Doesn't look very nice at the moment. But the flame comes up a little bit more. It keeps cooking. That smoke's coming from the new piece of wood I put in there. As soon as that's a light, the smoke will go away again. No wood stoves aren't the quickest. And I think that's a bonus because if you're getting out there in the bush or the forest or the woods, and you're going out there to just relax, just taking your time with the wood burning stove. It's part of your routine for relaxing, it's really nice. As soon as I finish cooking on this, I could use it to keep warm on the cold days. I feel the heat on my hands now, it's starting to heat up below. So that little single piece of wood must be getting close to catching. I have taken a folding or a flat pack wood burning stove oh, with me on a few hikes over the winter and it's been great just sitting there with that going keeping warm I'm not having to have a big raging fire going and have to run around searching for more and more wood this works out perfect, just sitting at the edge of the tarp by the hammock. The heat's risen and warmed up my actual hammock area when I've got in at night. Without having to have a big giant fire going. So there's no need for the big fires in this. The uh, other wood burning so it worked just great. And there we go, I think. That's what the egg cooked. So there's bacon and eggs cooked on the solo stove light wood burner. Let's have a bite so I'm getting hungry again. There we go. Hmm. It's actually cooked quite nice. I wish I'd been able to cook the bacon a little bit more without burning it, but it's still cooked really nice. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel and you have liked this video go down and click on the like thumbs up button and the subscribe button also and subscribe to the channel and the bell button next to it so you can be notified of all future videos hmm. there's a neighbour going and if you're already a subscriber I thank you very much so until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care. Now I'm going to finish this off and drink my coffee. See you later.